And an angry mob of Black Lives Matter protesters have accosted diners on the streets of Washington, D.C. While many people in the group approach did, in fact, raise their hand in solidarity, there was one woman in particular who chose not to. Take a look at this. The woman copying all that was Lauren Victor, who is a supporter of the movement and has marched in protest before, but she said she didn't want to be forced to do anything in that situation. Ben, there's no denying that Black Lives Matter is incredibly important, so to do the protesters have to resort to this to ensure that it remains in the headlines. I've got to say, Robbo, I found this appalling. I found it absolutely appalling. Um, I, It's bullying. That footage I watch, I'm angry watching that footage. The woman is trying to social distance. She's got a mask on. They're encroaching on the 1.5 metres. They're bullying her into, we're not leaving until you raise that hand. This is appalling. It is absolutely disgusting. Uh, and it just, it, it, sends the, it sends the movement back, I think, to see those kind of scenes. We have seen other videos that have come out uh, of America during the protests where a woman was, you know, had a, a swastika on her arm or something or had a flag outside of it and obviously an angry mob kind of, went up to her and said, get back in your house, and there was a confrontation. This is a woman who was sitting at a restaurant, minding her own business, and these this, these mob of idiots who are screaming at her. Like, imagine how scared you would be, and then they're it's begging terrifying. you and they're telling you to do that. It is, it is absolutely terrifying. This is disgusting. So these people... Yes, Black Lives Matter, a very important protest. This gets me really angry, Robin. I think you're angry too. It just uh, look at that image. That woman is on a chair. That is scary. She is having dinner. They are screaming at her in her in her face. Is that the right way to make change? I don't think so. Is this the way to not get change through quicker? Yes, I think so. Had they shot themselves in the foot? Yes. Should they be ashamed? Yes. That is disgusting behaviour. It makes me angry. Ben, what do you think of that? Yeah. What would you have done in that situation? Would you have raised your fist? Uh, well, the whole thing really bothers me. But, I mean, I find protesting in this day and age is really bothering me. I think that we need to get smarter at the way in which we create and we get our messages out there. And I just think, you know, hate really does perpetuate hate, you know, and this particular yeah. Black Lives Matter movement is really made people distressed and when you get distressed and you get and you you develop uh, a lack of like as in what's the what's the word I'm looking for? It's like Empathy. when you get really stressed and you don't know oh. how to feel. You react badly when fear becomes uh, yeah. ingrained yeah, yeah, yeah. into you. When you're emotionally distressed, pe hate perpetuates hate. And that particular mm -hmm. example, you know, is just it's just foreign to me. Like I can't even imagine. I don't know anyone that would join me in a in a protest like that. And I don't know anyone that thinks, I, don't, I think we'd be hard pressed to find anyone who's watching the show right now that didn't find that confronting and uh, yeah. agrees with it. Not only confronting, yeah. but appalling. Mm. Absolutely yeah, appalling. It's, it's, I, I just yeah. can't fathom how anyone thinks that is okay. Whatever your political views, even if she disagreed, you know, like the fact is, she, as we said, she was she's marched in Black Lives Matter protests, but good on this woman for not succumbing to the pack mentality of being forced to do something. You have no right to intimidate someone to do your will. That is, it's just out, absolutely outrageous. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben.